I previously created a tutorial on how to use Logic Pro's MIDI chord analyzer. This video is an addendum to it for all Logic Pro 11 users. In the previous tutorial, I demonstrated the chord analysis feature for recorded MIDI notes in the Piano Roll Editor. Let me quickly just walk you through this. I select the notes of the chord, and a suggestion is made above the quantization column to the left of the keyboard, and here it suggests C major chord. I also demonstrated how to insert these chord names in the score editor for those needing to build a score sheet. I click under the category A, and I click, drag, and insert chord to where I need this to be. Then I type in the chord name, click return, and I'm good to go. Logic Pro 11's AI-driven session players go hand in hand with the new chord creation feature on the global level, where they follow these chord markers to generate material. Find the global objects by expanding this tab. This AI feature might well be the reason why we now have real-time chord analysis found in the transport bar over here. Let me just demonstrate. As someone who creates score charts for tracking and performance needs, I have a further tip for you. Begin every project by indicating tempo, time, and key in the transport bar. These global adjustments will conveniently inform the score editor of the correct key signature and accidentals. Let me demonstrate. We're in the key of C. Let's make it a G major piece, and there you are. Another device that constrains your work to the chosen scale mode appears in the piano roll editor. In the quantization column, look for scale quantize, and here you may select the key and its quality that you'd like your notes confined to. So I'll pick G major, and you'll notice that the cue is grayed out until you select the notes concerned. Then you hit Q for quantize to scale mode. And voila, this is how it ends up being. Yet another device can be found in the score editor. Go to edit, find diatonic insert and select it. All pencil tool inserts get confined to the global key quality. And where is the global key quality? Right here in the transport bar. Let's pick G major. While it's confined, all pencil inserts will not go outside the G major scale. With my pencil tool, I'll try and insert an F natural. So let's try here for an F natural. Nope. It's picked an E. Let's go further up. Nope, it picked the F sharp. With diatonic insert off, I can easily insert an F natural. However, with diatonic insert on, after the pencil insertion, I'm still able to manipulate the notes chromatically. Let me demonstrate. I hope these tips come in handy. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thanks.